Today is your core focus workout with a touch of self-massage. You will tighten and tone your body, but finish with some foam rolling to release tension in the muscles. Grab a pair of light free weights and a foam roller, and let's do this. This episode of Class with Sugar is presented by Voltaren. Feel the joy of movement. Today we've got Danny to show you all the modifications. Abia's over here, it's gonna be rocking and rolling with you as well. Today we're gonna to start down on the mat with a little bit of a warm up for that body, get the blood flowing, starting in a kneeling hip flexor pulse. So you want one foot up, you want the other knee down on the floor to start, hands to the inside of that foot, and I'm gonna have you just pulsing, bending the elbows gently, allowing your hips to sink further and further towards the floor. So right away, I'm gonna get you into a little bit of hip mobility, and depending on your flexibility, you might not be able to go very low. You also might feel like, you know what, I wanna pick that back knee up. I'm ready for a little bit more of an intense stretch, and that's okay too. Wherever you feel like you are right now is where you should kinda of stick with it, and then drop the knee if you're already up, and switch legs. So we're getting a good extension here through the hips. Hands come to the inside. You're gonna pulse, letting the hips sink further and further towards the floor. Good, opening up. You know, you use your hip flexors a lot during core exercises, so I really wanted to open them up. If you wanna increase the intensity, you can pick the back knee up off the floor. You do where you feel is the best intensity for you as you're getting started, because you don't wanna push it too hard. You're just getting warmed up. Oh yeah, good, and relax. Bring that back knee all the way back and go into all fours for a cat and dog stretch. So when you're working your core, you always wanna warm up the spine. You're gonna arch up, pull the shoulder blades apart, and then drop the belly, lift the head. All right, so you're just giving a nice stretch through the spine, pulling all the back muscles, giving them a lengthen, and then drop the belly, lift the head, because you have muscles that align your spine on the front and the back, and this is where you really get to elongate all of them. Warm them up, bring the blood flow. You're gonna be working those core muscles today. Awesome. Now here, we're gonna go into a down dog stretch, but if you want to, follow Danny for a child's pose. So tuck the toes and lift the hips up towards the sky, and I want you to really press your hips up towards the sky and the heels down towards the floor. So you're feeling a big stretch through the hamstrings. Now I love child's pose here because it still stretches out the back and the shoulders and you're getting a nice extension of the body. Here is a little more intense, the back of the hamstrings and the calves and you're working your shoulders a little bit. And come on down. Nice, it's not easy, right? Let's come on to your feet. All right, get you warmed up. We're gonna go with a side bend, get a nice stretch through the side of the body. Have your feet wide and you're gonna reach up and over. You can kind of bend into that knee a little bit, right? But I want you to think about stretching up towards the sky, opening up your side body, taking a couple deep breaths in. Two more seconds here. Breathe it out. Good, now we're gonna go into a march. We're gonna really start to get a nice little flexion in the side of the body, the obliques. We're gonna try to bring that knee up towards the same side elbow, and you're gonna start to open up your hips here. You can really kind of feel that stretch, right, oh, yeah. ladies? It's like, ah, oh, get that leg up there, and you're working on the obliques oh. as you're driving that knee up to meet that elbow. If it doesn't get there, it's awesome, it's fine, but your goal is to say, can I get my knee a little higher each time I do this workout, right? And you're gonna get that flexibility through the hips as you're moving through a lot of the mobility exercises and getting yourself going. Last one and relax. Now, we're gonna do a leg swing here, starting with runner arms. You're gonna take a step, you're gonna kick and step back. So it's a little dance move, kind of. Yeah. You know, you step, kick, and now you're using your abs here to get the leg lift, and what you're doing is also getting a good stretch throughout that hamstring. Now, if you wanted to advance this, you would not step back, and you would try to be swinging that leg. Oh, look at you, Ooh. Avia, yeah, girl. <laughs> That's it, so you can always add this advanced version. Good, back and forth, and then switch up legs, okay? So just start with the first kick, and I like having the runner arms. I think that's really good. You're kind of getting your arms moving, you're working on some coordination, abs are fired up as you kick that leg straight. Then if you want to advance, go ahead and try to balance and swing. So really think about tightening the core, 
Good, using the abs to pull that leg up. Get that good kick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. All right, nice. <laughs> Grab your light free weights, or no weights if you're modifying with Danny, okay? Because this one can be intense at first. We're gonna start by going into a little sumo squat, and we're gonna be working on an overhead reach to work the obliques. So go as low as you feel, pretty comfortable. You want your weights up here at 90 degrees, and I'm gonna have you reach up just across the top of your head. You're not going much further than that, so you're not going very far. You're staying low in those legs, so you have to stabilize. And then you're giving it a big reach so that you have to stabilize with the side of your body working on that core. Good. Staying low, you're doing great. Breathe it out, side to side. Oh, my legs are burning. Ooh, yes. <laughs> my abs are on fire. <laughs> Good. Obviously, the heavier you, heavier you go, the more work it's gonna require, but start light. You know, we're going with three pounds here, and I can feel the work all through my obliques. Last one, and come up. All right, give the legs just a second, because we're gonna go into a sumo squat and twist. So this next one, you're gonna go down low again. All right, sit into it. You've got the weights here. Now, you can either do a twist like Danny, right here, back and forth. If you have weight, great, if you don't, that's it, that's you can keep this going. Or you can join Avi and I. We're gonna punch, punch. We're gonna add a little extension. Now when I extend my arm, it is so much harder on my abs, okay? I have to really tighten, I have to really control. All right, so start with just a little twist, all right? And then you can move up to a little bit more movement. And then if you wanna add the extension, you can do that. Back and forth, you're looking great. And relax, coming on up. All right, now, marching it out, I want you to work the shoulders a little bit here, because every time you do that, it requires a little more stability from your core. You're gonna bring the knee up across the body and touch opposite elbow to knee. So, standing ab move here, you're getting that twist. Exhale as you bring that knee up towards the elbow. So you feel yourself exert and pull that belly button in towards your spine. Really think about, pull the belly button in, good. Exhale the breath, I hear it back there. Good ladies, I feel it. I feel that wind coming up through my neck right now. Good job, you got it. Breathing it out, elbows are high. Back and forth, two and one. All right, now let's bring the weights down, come onto the floor and we're gonna go into a side plank with a reach and a little lift leg if we want to advance the move. So coming down into a side plank, I want you to lift up, all right? You're down on the knee, supported by the elbow, and I want you to reach up over the top of your head. You wanna know why? It makes it a little heavier for you to hold that plank. Now, if you wanna advance this move, I'm gonna have you lift and lower your top leg, just a little, all right? Because we're working on the glutes, we're feeling it. Breathe it out, you're holding that side plank. If you've gotta come down and rest every once in a while, that's fine, all right? Otherwise, lift, and then find yourself giving that little pulse, because you're working all the muscles here on the outside of the leg and glute. You're feeling your abs stabilize and relax. All right, coming on to the other side. You guys doing good? Yeah, so good. Feeling all right? Back over, you're in that side plank, lift. Now this alone is a huge challenge for your core. So this is okay to stay here, and occasionally if you need to drop and give yourself a rest, that's okay. Otherwise, add this little pulse with that top leg. Feel yourself squeeze the core. Abs are nice and tight. Keep your hips up tall. I know it's hard. It's like, ah, oh, I wanna drop, I wanna drop. But you can do this. You're looking great. Every time that leg comes up, your hips are gonna wanna drop, right? So it's fighting gravity here. Up and down, good, and relax. Okay, back up on your feet, Ooh. ladies. All right, tingling. so, yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, your arms are tingling, grab your weight. We're gonna go through one more round. Your body's warm now, so I think you'll have a little more mobility through the legs. Come down into your sumo squat, and let's go with the reach. So let's raise that hand up and over. Get nice and low. Good, pull the belly button in towards the spine. So you're thinking about really keeping a nice, tight center. <sighs> Breathing each time you reach, staying nice and low. <sighs> That's it. Nice job, you guys. 
exhale. My shoulders get worked Me too. too. <laughs> right? Good. Last couple seconds here. You're doing great. I know the legs are burning, oh, yeah. abs are stabilizing. Come on up and we're gonna go into that twist, right? So again, working on the core, but working on the legs. And when you're doing both, you're feeling the stability, have to fire up. So we're here or we're gonna add that punch. So right now you can add it or stay with Danny, right? She's got it. Ooh. Awesome, extending. Oh, baby, my yes. legs, my arms, yep. my abs. <laughs> You're doing great, you guys. Keep breathing. A lot of internal You can do off. this. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. You gotta keep your mind intact. You gotta keep yourself focused yes. on the breath. Good, and come up. Ooh. Nice job. All right, marches, so elbows up at 90. Let's do this. Going opposite knee to elbow, and you're trying to control this one. A lot of times it's easy for that leg to just go, oh, you know, drop it. But I want you to think about trying to keep that knee up for like a pulse, right? A count, and keep those abs tight as you pull up. And I'm adding the twist through my trunk. There's so much going on right now for your core. Good job. Nice job, looking good, Avia, looking Ooh. good, Danny. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. <sighs> Breathing it out, doing great. Three, two, and one. All right, back down onto the floor. We got our side plank with our leg raise for the advanced version, so come on down. Stabilize here. All right, you got one hip. You're really fighting to stay up. Reach up over the head. Keep a nice, strong posture here. Only then, if you feel good, add the pulse. Lifting the leg. You're doing great. Good job. Breathe it out. That's it. A couple more seconds. You're doing great. It's all about tightening and toning that midsection today, which includes the glutes, the obliques, all the abdominal muscles, right? So we're really feeling all those areas getting tight. Good. Switch it up. Ooh. Other side. Don't worry. Your massage is coming. Yeah. <laughs> Your massage is coming. I wish it was a nice massage, but it's one of those massages that hurts so good, right? Feel it in the after. That's it. <laughs> You'll love it after. Yeah. Good. Lifting those hips. Come on. Keep it high. I feel like this side is so much weaker, so yes. my hips just want to fall to the floor, right? Yep. You Always. feel that? So if you don't do the lift, you can stay up much higher and that's fine. I might not, you know, be able to do as many leg lifts on this side, or I might just feel like, oh man, I gotta fight through the burn, I gotta feel this. You're creating a balance through your body. Breathe it out. All about that balance. That's it. Good. Three, two, and relax, Ooh. you guys. Awesome job with that circuit. You guys are amazing, way to rock it. Now we're gonna come down onto our back for this next one. Are you psyched? We're not on our feet for this next one. All you're gonna do is start by pulling that knee to the chest, extending the opposite leg up towards the sky. Now the lower that leg goes, the more you're using your abs. But I want you to press your low back down into the floor and you're gonna switch legs. You're gonna hug one knee, extend the other leg, and switch. Now the lower that leg goes towards the floor, the harder it's gonna be to keep your low back press towards the ground. So really think about pulling your low back down towards the floor and you're giving yourself a nice little hug. If you want to advance this one, you might lift your shoulder blades, lift your head Ooh. up and off the mat. Yes. So it's going to be a little harder. It's going to engage the abs a little bit more. You got to do what feels right for you and I don't want you to strain your neck. So if this is straining the neck, just allow yourself to stay down, but keep your low back pressed. Now, we're gonna switch and go into no hands. So you're gonna bring your hands behind your head, start by keeping your hands and shoulders on the ground, and start kicking back and forth. One knee comes into the chest, the other extends long. I'm gonna go low to the floor because I've been doing this ever since I started this program four months ago, and I am able to now lengthen long. Ooh. And if you wanna advance, you can pick those shoulder blades up, and you can extend from there. All right, but don't strain the neck. Really keep the low back pressed towards the floor. Kick that heel out. Remember, kicking up towards the sky makes it a little easier because you got less weight on the abs. 
You're doing amazing. Yeah. Keep it going. <laughs> awesome job. Breathe and relax. Whew. Oh, all right, now Danny, you're gonna stay down here to show them the modified bridge as you come up and lift. I want you to come up, squeeze and lift. Now I want you to come up to your hands if you can. Abia and I are gonna show you a bridge from the hands and we're gonna lift and bridge up and then down. And now this move can come all the way to a reach. So if you can lift one hand off the floor and reach, come back down to the floor and switch sides, that's gonna be the next phase, the next challenge. But right now you see three variations, the progression of how to get right here to this overhead reach in a reverse bridge, working the back, working the glutes, working the obliques. Good job, you guys. Shoulders, everything, right? You feel that through your shoulders Ooh. too, right, Avia? Woo! Nice job, you guys. Couple more seconds. Breathing it out. I love that reach because it really works my lats, it works my glutes, my obliques, shoulders, and everything. Good. Oh, I always have to remind myself to squeeze the booty at the top. <laughs> squeeze the booty at the top, press through the heels, and relax. Okay, now, the butterfly boat, you're gonna lay flat on your back again and you're gonna have the, the feet together and the knees open in butterfly position. I want you to support the head with your hands behind your head. And the first move of this, you're gonna lift just your shoulders up towards the sky. You're gonna lift your chest and shoulders off of the mat, okay? Holding for about a count of five. So you're breathing, press the low back into the floor. Really think about pressing that low back into the floor. Now drop the head and shoulders, and I want you to lift the feet. Now you'll notice Danny's gonna lift her feet a little higher with her knees together, because that's gonna create less weight on your low back. If your legs are lower and wide, it's way harder. Then drop your legs and lift your chest again. That's it. So we're alternating from the upper body to the lower body, good. And then drop it down and lift the legs. But each time you're lifting the chest or the legs, you're pressing your low back to the floor. So you wanna imagine you had a towel under your middle back and somebody was trying to pull it out and you're fighting them, you're not letting them. And then drop those feet, lift the chest and shoulders. Good, come on, don't let anyone pull that towel Ooh. out from underneath your back. My towel. Don't let them pull it. <laughs> and then drop that, lift the feet, hold it, squeeze those abs, press the low back to the floor. Breathe, drop it. Now both are gonna lift for this last one. Lift the chest and the legs. Remember, if the Ooh, knees baby. come higher, it's easier. If they're lower, it's harder. You've gotta find where you feel the strength is right and not gonna injure the back because you got it flat on the floor and relax. Woo! Yeah. All right, my <laughs> friends. Now we're gonna go through it one more time. So you're gonna start here with the knee to chest and you're kicking the opposite leg out nice and long and you're alternating legs. Now remember here, you can immediately pick up the shoulders if you want to off the floor. Keep the low back pressed into the ground. Good, exhale. Remember you can kick your legs up further towards the sky for less weight so that you can modify that way. Couple more seconds here. Good, and relax. We're gonna go no hands. So you're starting here, hands behind the head. Start kicking one leg out, knee in towards the chest, alternating sides. All right, you're extending, keeping the low back pressed down towards the floor. You wanna add that intensity, lift the shoulders. You can always do that anytime, right? Anytime, or if you're like, oh my gosh, my low back is coming off the floor, then maybe you've gotta let yourself come down, right? And give yourself just a little bit of that release in the neck and make sure the abs are still working to keep that back safe. Exhaling, breathing. Awesome job, you guys are looking great. That's it, three, two, one. Ooh and relax, all right? So we're going up into the bridge here, lifting and squeezing, and coming back down towards the floor, all right? You can come up to the hands if you're ready to progress. I know that we've been working on this, getting our shoulders to open up, working on the glutes, coming up, and we've been working on adding that reach, right? So that we can really get the back engaged, 
the obliques to fire up and over. You're looking good. I know this one is not easy. Good. Katie's looking great. Oh, yeah. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Yes. Make sure to press through your heels as you're lifting those hips. That's where you're really gonna fire up your glute. You're gonna get that muscle to wake up. Say hello. Hello. Welcome to life. <laughs> Here's some blood and oxygen. Good, couple of seconds left. Two, oh, one, baby. and relax. Butterfly bow, I know you love it. <laughs> or maybe not, but you'll love it later when your abs are sore and you're feeling stronger. Yes. So starting in butterfly position, immediately before you start this, I want you to press your low back into the floor. I want you to think about pulling your belly button towards the floor and your low back should come flat. Now you have that towel underneath your low back, right? Nobody can get it out from underneath you. Now lift your shoulders and chest up towards the sky. Hold it. Three, two, one. Drop it, lift the legs up. Breathe. Two, three, four, five. Drop the legs, lift the chest up. Two, three, four, five. Drop the shoulders, lift the legs up. One, two, breathe. <laughs> we got quiet. <laughs> Keep your low back, press down tight. Good, drop it, lift the shoulders up. Two, breathe. Shh, 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 shh. Drop the shoulders, lift the legs. Come on. Woo. We're gonna finish with a grand finale of both <laughs> up at the same time. Oh, drop the legs, ready, lift chest and legs. Go up. That's it, breathe. Big exhales, press your low back down. If you've gotta pick your knees up a little bit, that's okay. Bring them closer to your elbows. All right, you can do this. Keep your knees open if you want that challenge. Keep it lower to the floor if you want that challenge. And relax. Woo. Awesome oh. job. <laughs> you guys are gonna get better and better at that every single week, okay? So we're gonna start with that self-massage next, all right? We're gonna grab our foam rollers and we're gonna bring it the long ways on our mat, okay? So what you wanna do is have it nice and long here so that you can sit all the way at the very bottom, right? Because you want it to be long enough to support you all the way to the top of your head. So you're gonna roll back so that your head and your hips are supported by the roller. Now we're gonna do a snow angel here. So your palms are up towards the sky. You're letting the back of your hands rest on the floor and you wanna keep them on the floor as if you're painting a big line on the floor as you raise your arms up over the head. Now right here is as far as I can go, keeping my hands on the ground. So if that's you, wherever your hands start to come off the ground, that's where you stop and you come all the way back. The goal is to get the hands all the way up over the head, but it doesn't always happen in the beginning. Like for me right now, I'm really tight. Haven't done this yet today. It's the first one. I'm not feeling it. Ooh, I just went a little higher that time, right? So I'm gonna come all the way back down. So it's a snow angel and you wanna make sure you're actually making a mark in the ground. Your hands aren't just gliding along the top. You're letting them stretch. So some people might only get to here. They might get even and they're like, oh, I can't go any further. They'll come right back down. And you're gonna notice that you get further and further and this is opening up your chest, opening up your shoulders. You're getting a good stretch. Oh, I went even further that time. <laughs> Me too. Good. <laughs> Avi, you're feeling a benefit, right? Yes. You're feeling a difference? Good job. Now this next one, you're gonna clasp your hands together up over your body and you're gonna come over the belly button here and then all the way over the top of the head, trying to bring the hands to the floor. But keep your palms together, right? So you're really grasping the palms and you're keeping those hands together and you're just letting your arms, your lats, your shoulders, everything is getting a great stretch. All right, breathe and just let yourself go through your own pace here. All right, this can feel a little uncomfortable if it's your very first time stretching the upper body and giving yourself some of this mobility on the foam roller, right? But this is the stuff that really makes a difference in your fitness because you avoid getting injured, you start feeling healthier during all the exercises because you don't feel these aches and pains in your shoulders and all that stuff happening. 
all right, and relax. Now, we're gonna come off of this foam roller, and I like to just kind of come off to the side, just like you got on it, but you just kind of roll off to the side, and you're gonna bring the roller for a back bend. So you're gonna bring it the long ways, and you're gonna roll onto it with the shoulders just underneath the roller, and your elbow should be just behind it. All right, you feel that? Good. Yeah. Now support your head and neck here in this position and allow yourself to do a little back bend over the top of the roller. So feel yourself get a little extension. Don't go too far. Just start to feel where you're at. And then come forward, pull your abs in tight. You're doing a little mini crunch here, right? And so most people have never done a back bend because it's way too aggressive and most of us aren't gymnasts. <laughs> But we can do a little mini back bend here to avoid that hunch that happens when we don't have any mobility through the middle back. And this is releasing tension all along the spine and those muscle groups that really opens up your posture. You go to where you feel comfortable and, you know, mildly uncomfortable, but not pain. Avoid oh, I can feel pain. it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It feels Ooh, good. It feels so good. It feels great. Beautiful. Oh, great job, you guys. Now, you're gonna bring that roller underneath your back as if it's your pillow. We're gonna pillow it up with oh, the foam yeah. roller. This is what I'm talking so about. So it comes right <laughs> underneath the neck. Yeah, we're gonna take a little nap. Yeah. All right, so here, it's right underneath your neck, and you're gonna roll your head to the left or right, and slowly, okay, slowly roll, so that you feel the muscles along the base of the skull get a little pressure. And then you're gonna roll to the other side so that you're rolling slow and you're feeling the pressure of each individual muscle that's attaching to the base of that skull. Just allow your torso to relax. And just go at your own pace, rolling your neck side to side, feeling a nice little pressure release. I feel like when I get all the way over to the left and right is where I have the most tension. Oh. Doing this back and forth about three or four times is going to make you feel like a new person. And when you're opening up the blood flow and the tension here, you get so much more to the brain where you function better, you think more clearly, you're more patient, you have more focus, and you're more productive. Yes. So much happening for you in this moment. So take a nice deep breath and enjoy. Breathe it out, nice job. Beautiful, okay, now we can stay here forever and you can stay there longer if you wanna pause and stay. But we're gonna come up and show you the IT band and the, the shins, because these are two very, very important moves that you should be doing during this program, okay? Keep you healthy, keep your knees healthy. You're gonna bring the roller underneath the side of your thigh where your IT band is. You're gonna come onto your elbow so it's supported and your top leg is here to support your body weight. Otherwise, you're very heavy on the roller at first. And I want you to find a tender spot on the side of your thigh. It might be like right now you feel it. You're like, ah, I got the spot. <laughs> I feel it. Found it. If it's there, you're not moving very far over it. You're just on that spot of tension. And you're just doing a gentle, small movement over it. So the goal in foam rolling is to keep pressure on the tight areas. That's when it releases. So you want to give it some love. Give each tender spot a little bit of love. Don't leave it very soon. Keep it there, embrace it. I know it's painful. Use the top leg here to lift your body weight up off the roller at first if it feels too tender. All right, that's how you can release some of that tension. I know right now, the first time, if it's your first time, come on down, let's switch sides. It feels like there's a rock in your leg, right? It feels as though there's a, a sharpness going on, but that will loosen up over time and you'll have less and less tension in your body, which means now your knees are happier, your hips, your low back. That is so important when you're getting your fitness back to keep these muscles loose and tension free. And the best way to do it is the foam roller. And we're only here for a couple minutes, right? I know it feels like a lifetime. <laughs> in the moment. But it's not a lifetime. It's a couple minutes of uncomfortable feelings in your body that will get better and easier each time you do it. Good. Yeah. 
I'm like, oh, yeah. man. <laughs> Our faces are probably. <laughs> it feels so good when you finish, though. It does, yeah. Like we have new legs. Yeah. All right, and come on down. So you gave some love to one spot. Now, next time you do it, give it to another spot, right? Now, shins are last. And what we're going to do is first we come down and we bring the foam roller underneath the knees, OK? And I'm on my toes here. Now, I'm going to lean forward on my hands, and I'm just going to roll onto the middle of my shins, keeping my toes on the floor. And I can feel the pressure of my upper thighs pushing my, sh my shins into the roller. I don't really need to do much more than this. It's kind of fun, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you're a runner, if you walk, if you do hills, if you hike, if you do anything using your lower body, over time that repetition gets really, really tender. It gets tight in the shin areas. And a lot of people aren't paying attention to that. And then they get the shin splints, and then they get sore knees, and ankles get tight. So you want to make sure that you do these types of you know, tension releasing exercises just to give yourself that release, keep your body healthy, and relax. You guys, amazing job. I know that's new for so many of you, but keep with it. You're amazing, and we'll see you next time.